the Big Bang, and the universe began expanding. A multitude of unstable atoms were then created, fracturing to give rise to the elements that make up the world around us. Albert Einstein studied the physics of these unstable atoms and discovered a new kind of energy, nuclear energy. August 6th and 9th, 1945, two cities wiped out in a matter of seconds, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Over 110,000 people dead. The first dramatic illustration of the energy's potential power in the hands of mankind. It took nine years before the discovery found a peaceful application, the production of electricity. The first reactor was inaugurated in 1954 in the Soviet Union, the second in 1956 in the UK. Worldwide development of the nuclear industry was off and running. From 1960 to 1985, over 300 reactors were built in 20 countries. Then, on April 26, 1986, Chernobyl became a concrete manifestation of the nuclear risk and put an end to the elation of this initial phase of expansion. But today, all that's changing. Awareness of global warming is reversing the trend. Since it doesn't produce any greenhouse gases, nuclear power is now presented as the energy source, able to respond to our growing needs without any adverse effects on the climate. 20 years after Chernobyl, there's talk of tripling the number of reactors in the world. Il n'y a pas d'information correcte, quoi. On est plus euh, sensibilisé sur euh, fumer tu, euh, oui. euh, pas boire au volant, euh, voilà, pas boire au volant, mais c'est vrai que euh, centrale nucléaire, euh, on ne pas grand chose. Hein. <rire> c'est vrai. <rire> Starting in 1958, France placed its bets on nuclear energy as a means of securing its independence. It's one of the rare nations to have continued nuclear expansion after the Chernobyl disaster. 59 reactors currently meet 80% of the country's electricity needs, a world record. In the northwest of the country on the Normandy tip, the Nord Cotentin is the epitome of this nuclear engagement. Three major sites lie within a few kilometers of each other. Cherbourg, the military arsenal with its nuclear submarines. La Hague, the world's largest radioactive waste storage and reprocessing complex. And Flamanville, two 1300 megawatt reactors and a third under construction. 